Hi, it's Rhys Brown. I'm here on the Nokia stand today at Amsterdam's Network X with Kurt Heinick. And today we're going to be talking about Nokia's new application framework and marketplace. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, good to have you here today. Um, so to start off with, it's good to sort of check where we are. So we've seen a lot of digital uh, transformation in the operator space. We've seen uh, software-defined networking. We've also seen areas of network automation and uh, cloudification. So where do you see us um, in terms of fixed uh, network access? Where do you think operators are with this at the moment? Yeah, I think 2022 is really the start of an inflection point if you think about as the end. So what happened in the past is operators were really having, buying hardware from different suppliers. It came with an EMS, it came with a CLI, and they automated, they scripted some things on top of a CLI. That's a very, very limited capability. So what you really need to be able to automate at full scale, you need a cloudification. You need uh, platforms which are intent-based. You need closed loop automation. You need all those different variants. And this is what we are selling and offering on our platform, Altiplano, today. And I am proud to say, actually, that to date we have more than 70 commercial wins on Altiplano and Nesdan in global, which is, just to show you, it's not just the early adopters, which is doubling the amount of everything we have done all the years before. Mm -hmm. What are your customers asking for in terms of software-defined networking? Well, the key word on this one is basically flexibility. And this is flexibility in all variants. So if you look at the different networks of operators, they have different networks, different topologies, and as a consequence, they have different form factors. They need a big box, a small box, a sealed box, all those different sort of boxes. The other element of flexibility is they are not determined. Actually, they don't want to be imposed on a single architecture. Each of the one them have their own choice. So some of them prefer a disaggregated architecture, others prefer an aggregated architecture. Some of them want to work on NetConfiang, which is the most dominant way moving forward, but some of them still want to use SNMP. So they want to have a single pane of glass encompassing all of this. And then lastly, if you think about flexibility, that's about the cloud platform. Some op operators don't have a cloud strategy at all. So maybe they want simply an appliance. Others have their own cloud. They manage it within their telco network and others are basically relying on a public cloud. As a last alternative, I could say some of them, actually, the smaller ones typically, actually want Nokia to offer software as a service and the cloud platform on top of it. Mm -hmm. So Nokia recently launched a framework, an application framework and an application marketplace. I wonder if you could share some details with me about this and just explain what it's about. Yeah, so if, so if you think about it, and I was talking about none of the networks being the same, actually none of the automations are the same. Mm -hmm. So each and every operator wants his own form of uh, automation. They have their own services that they want to apply. And in order to accommodate this, we integrated full flexibility in our platform. So you can see it in a couple of ways. So one of the things is the building applications that we have in Altiplano, you can customize. You can even customize with a not that much knowledge on the IP side. So you configure a GUI, you define a dashboard, mm -hmm. you're uh, identifying a workflow uh, engine. So basically, this is what you can be doing. Second thing is operators. Some operators want to go deep. They really want to change the behavior of the network. For that, we created a interface, an API, an SDK, on top of which you can build, operators can build their own applications. So they can really act on the network and on the data lake, massive data lake, and start creating their own applications. And then last but not least, we're also going to offer off-the-shelf applications. And those off-the-shelf applications, some of them come from Nokia, others can come from third party, and we are making them available towards the digital marketplace. So we created an Altiplano application marketplace, which is unique in the industry, and which we, where customers can now select certain applications, download it towards the Altiplano platform, and simply start offering the service. Mm -hmm. And what sort of applications are you seeing people develop? Yeah, so if you think about applications, we believe there are three broad categories. Mm -hmm. So you have a category which is about automation, you have a category about insights, so gaining insights into the network, and you have a category about support. So just to give a couple of examples, when you talk about automation, you can talk about the ONT Easy Start. So this is a way about automatically configuring your ONT, uh, doing this digitized. So in a sense, there is no way for error. And so you avoid some of the, the, the trick rolls that you might have in, in other occasions. 
Another example is about the network health monitor. So you look at the network, you see whether there are anomalies and ahead of the curve, you're basically sort of predicting something might go wrong in future in your network. If you talk about support and maintenance uh, sort of activity, we also have an SFP health monitor. So it's look at the optical behavior of the SFPs and it sees whether it's in line with the rest of the SFPs or diverting. If it's diverting, you know, something may go wrong. So these are typical examples of some applications that can offer on top of the framework. Uh, thank you, Gerd. This has been really great talking to you today and I'm really looking forward to seeing what operators develop with your new um, applications. Thank you. Thank looking you. forward for it.